welcome to this week's vid folks we are back at harley don't switch off there is a reason for this it's another vid on the harley street glide special now the reason there's a second vid is because in the first one a i didn't have a second camera i didn't have my usual cockpit camera looking back and b i had issues with the audio and the first time i listened back to the footage after i did the first test ride i was really conscious of all the clicking and so i lost a fair bit of footage and i thought oh i'm not gonna be able to do this i'll have to do a second run so i went and did the second can run however when I had a relook at the original footage it wasn't too bad hence that's why that first video came out this next one Mike came out with me on another Harley we had a couple of different cameras he had a camera and we had a bit of fun so I hope you enjoy this let me know what you think all right folks I hope you're all staying safe and well at the moment it's a crappy situation I know with the whole COVID-19 thing but we will get through it we'll soon be back out on the road all right folks Hope you enjoy the fit. into a little secret folks this isn't actually my first ride of this I was out last week but uh, I've had some problems with the audio a little cable from the lavalier mic that goes into the GoPro adapter for some reason I don't know why but now that little cable is starting to come out it only needs to come out of the adapter by you know a millimeter and then the audio just you start getting clicks and loads of interference and sometimes if it comes out far enough it just automatically takes the, the mic stops working but it also cuts the audio to the camera so it's just mute then so mike and the folks here at guildford harley have very kindly let me come back and take the bite for another spin so what do i think the harley street glide well this thing is a behemoth it is massive i think it's somewhere in the region of 350 400 kilograms it is a big old lady but i tell you what this thing hustles it's not going to worry any sports bikes for the acceleration and things but it can handle you'll see we'll take this down some backcountry lanes and things and it handles no problem at all and it's got plenty of grunt there it's no slouch one thing I, I have noticed is it's a very stiff suspension where you're sat, you know, it, it is a little bit like riding on an iron bar. The seat is incredibly comfortable, but you are getting jolted about. You'll probably hear in the audio in my voice, you do get sort of jolted about quite a bit. Hello there, sorry about that. The camera was pointing up at the sky. So yeah, it, it's not an uncomfortable ride. It's actually quite comfortable. And once you get used to having your feet you know out the front it's actually a really nice place to be i remember last the last time i took this out i was really enjoying it by the end of the ride i was just like i can see me doing this i could see me in the denims with the open face lids shades on living the dream i could really see me buying into the brand with harley because it very much feels like a family it sounds as corny as hell i know but when you walk into the dealership harley have nailed that brand identity you walk in you don't feel like you're a hell's angel or an outlaw you walk in and feel you're part of a family it's <laughs> <laughs> that's really corny to say but it's true and it reminded me a lot i walked in and i thought ah this is where triumph have got that thing going on because triumph again have a very strong identity brand identity you're not just buying a bike with them you're buying the whole triumph scene that sort of brick cool scene that they have going on and harley is exactly the same so we've got Mike Noble in front of us, he's the sales manager at Guildford Harley and he's very kindly come out, he's going to try and get some footage of me on the bike as well and Mike actually owns Noble Custom, who custom build Harleys he's got a couple himself, phenomenal and Mike also has his own little channel and you should see some of his vids, I love them, I love that style proper easy rider style, you know 
I watch his vids and it just makes me want to get a Harley and hit the hit the road. And that's kind of why I'm here to be honest with you. Mike had followed the channel and I met him at one of the bike shows. And uh, he was saying, you know, I need to get you out on a Harley and see what you think. Well, three years down the line, he's actually done it. These things are just effortlessly cool. <laughs> so that's us on, uh, I think this is the A3. We're up at A3 speeds. Feels lovely, feels great. Not much wind turbulence at all. It's a nice place to be. Like, like I was saying to you before, the bike feels planted. It, it feels almost non-existent when you're moving like this. You'd never think you're sat on something that's 350, 400 kilograms in weight. It just glides along effortlessly. Effortlessly. And you'll see when we get her into the uh, Twitter twisties soon. This thing can hustle. Speaking of which, here we go. Yeah, you can lean this thing right over. No dramas. This is awesome. I just want a bandana on, a pair of jeans. I want to learn how to play the guitar and I want to hit the road. <laughs> Living the dream. This is what it's all about, folks, isn't it? This is what it's all about. If you weren't in the UK, or even if we were in the UK, it was like 20 odd degrees at the moment. You could just be cruising along here open face lid, pair of shades, loving life. As it is, it's about nine degrees. Ooh. It's about nine degrees, early February, and we're sat in a little bit of traffic. But you know, I don't really care. That's what this bike does. I'm just enjoying being on the road here. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> this is what I was saying to you. This thing's got a lump of an engine in it. There is no slouch just feels effortless to ride ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it <laughs> oh yeah I like what Mike does there with his camera he just he just hand holds it and he's got like a retractable cable which he connects to the camera so he can just have it hanging there off of out of his pocket whilst he's riding along and then he just picks the camera up holds it out gets some shots lets it go and that's him done great idea Loving this. I think when we hit the halfway mark, I'll change the batteries and then I will pop on the 360 camera if I can, get some footage of that. Now I'm just thinking, I wonder that session might actually vi be vibrating loads, if you can see it. It's vibrating a lot there, way more than I expected. I wonder if we'll be able to use that footage. I love that engine note, can you hear it? <laughs> this is such a nice place to be. Even in traffic, I don't care. Yes, I'm on a Harley. <laughs> this thing has all the bells and whistles. I don't know if you can see. It's got DAB radio on it. It's got sat nav built in. I'll put the full uh, spec sheet up on the screen now. And my 125 kilograms on top of that. No longer 135 kilograms, people. Oh yes, 10 kilograms gone. We're getting there. But yeah, you know, this lump of an engine, it is uh, hustling quite some weight along the road here, with ease. No fuss whatsoever. In fact, I wouldn't even say hustling, it's gliding. <laughs> oh yeah. You've got to come and try this, folks. This is mental. It's a totally different vibe if you pardon the pun, riding a Harley to riding any other bike I've tried. I'll bear in mind, you know, this is one type of Harley. There's a whole fleet in amongst its range. And I'm looking forward to trying lots of different models out in the Harley range. But this just has such a, a chilled out, relaxed feeling to it. I love it. I've got no issues on this. Absolutely none. Just sat here, cruising along. I'd love to try a big trip on one like this. Just see what it's like. 
I don't imagine this would handle the twists and turns of the mountains up in the Picos particularly well. I could be wrong. I can see me sort of cruising through Germany or France or going up in Scotland and doing the North Coast 500, something like that. Oh, this thing would be mental. It would be awesome. There's a real proper solid gear change that you get with this. It's a big hulking lever down there that you operate with your foot and it makes a proper clunk, listen, when you come into it. <laughs> it's actually quite reassuring. Oh man, I love this. I love this. Do you know, I got off this bike after the first ride last week and I was beaming the whole way home. I really was. And I kept thinking to myself, mm, it's like when I when I first took out the when I first took out the adventure bikes, the new adventure bikes coming from the Jixa, I got off the bike thinking they couldn't have been as good as I thought they were. No way. And I was like that with this. I thought there's no way that Harley, I was just caught up in the hype. There's no way it's as good as I remember. And I was almost a little bit not dismissive, but I was almost like playing it down that I was going to be getting back on one today. In my head, I was just thinking, come on, let's be balanced about this. Let's not get carried away. But honestly, I, I think I'm having a midlife crisis again. Now, I will go as far as to say I would not buy one of these as my only bike. No, I would not. But I tell you what, if I could afford it, I would have one. Absolutely. It's awesome. I just love the feel from it. I can't wait to try the rest of the fleet. <laughs> hey, hey. I'll tell you what I did see, folks. The new live wire, you know, the electric one? That was just sat there. In fact, someone was just taking that out when we left. As you can see, there's a chap there taking out the live wire. So, fingers crossed, I might get a wee shot of one of them. Do we have to go back? Can we just, like, go to France or something? <laughs> I mean, you can see me now, look. I'm just beaming as I'm riding this. I'm riding through the suburbs of Guildford and I am happy as Larry. What is going on? Oh, level crossing's down. Filtering on a Harley. Farnham Cricket Club. Oh, TMF would be in his element here. This is your type of people, TMF. That's one thing with this, the right indicator's on the right handle and the left indicator's on the left handle. That takes a little bit of getting used to. You don't think it would, but it does. For me, anyway. And I never seem to be able to cancel it properly. It's operator error, obviously. But I think you just push it again to cancel it. And I have to push it about 93 times before it cancels. In the dream, baby. Yes, yes, brother. <laughs> 1868 I think or it's a 1.8 engine anyway that's phenomenal Mrs Teapot's car is only 1.4 something like that in fact it might only even be a 1.2 little Skoda Flavia I think I'd have zero stress in my life with one of these one of these in some nice warm weather oh just yes the brakes feel surprisingly good Considering this is like the Albert Hall coming down on them, this is um, surprisingly reassuring. It's such a weird feeling when you lean this, you think, oh, it's not going to be able to lean that far. Yeah, it can. Like we're saying, literally just lean it, scrape the floor, the floor pegs, running boards. Ah, there we go. Maybe a little cup of splosh. Oh, yes. I'm loving this. Ah, oh, Mrs. Teapot, I'd have bought you some flowers, dear, but I don't know where to put them. Loving that. Right, we'll change the cameras round. Right, that's recording, that's recording. Sync them up. Beautiful. Right, so we have no session. We've just got the Hero 7 and the 360. Oh. 
Look at how much that's vibrating. <laughs> living the dream people living the dream <laughs> I was saying before, wasn't I folks, and Mike's got a channel, you have to check that out. I'll leave links down below, and just get you in the mood to hit the highway on a Harley and cruise. <laughs> ACDC brother! <laughs> These lads have a hell of a social scene. I would love to go and do some of the events these boys do. Looks awesome. Look at that for a view. Wow, is this the Surrey Downs or something? Wayburn, born, Wayburn, Wayburn. Love that engine. Imagine what this would sound like with a full. What do they put on Harleys? Vance and Hines, is that right? Is that what they put on these? We'll get out onto a bit of open road and I'll open her up and you'll hear her. We're doing a bit of the hog's back. I don't know what the hog's back is, but we're doing some of it. I don't normally like open face lids, but I tell you what, it makes sense on this. With this sort of scene, that just makes sense, that. I've proper just moulded myself back into this again. Felt a little bit weird to begin with, again sitting with my legs sat out the front. But, uh, oh, I'm totally in that zone now. I love it. We're not doing stupid speeds. You're just cruising along. Living the dream. So there we go. These are some bumpier, twistier B roads. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's not quite as smooth a ride. <laughs> I think all the sort of suspension that you're getting is probably from the seat. I could be showing my ignorance here. Is that what this soft tail and hard tail and all that malarkey is about? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. But, oh wow, look at this. Yes. Oh yes, this is what it's meant to do. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This just feels like I am gliding along the road. There is no dramas with the handling of this thing, folks. Oh yes, that actually feels really good in the corner. I know I wasn't going breakneck speeds, but um, it felt lovely just leaning it in. We were doing 40 miles an hour. We're just cruising at 40 and I am having a whale of a time. You can't complain about that. I am having every bit as much fun on this as I normally do, but I'm doing what, 45 mile an hour. But don't get me wrong, ooh, don't get me wrong, this thing will do a lot more than that. <laughs> it's more than capable, wow. Leafy Surrey Suburbia, look at this, beautiful. <laughs> I'm loving it! Oh, now, I noticed on the latest vid, somebody put in the comments, I love the vid, but please stop saying woo-ha. I think woo-ha might be become my, what might become my, uh, hey kids, that TMF has. Some of you love it, some of you hate it. Woo-ha! <laughs> this is a great road! Ooh. Test the submarine qualities of the Harley. As 
So that's us nearly back at Guildford Harley folks Well, I mean there's no need for me to tell you what I think, I love it I appreciate this is a total Marmite bike, I really do You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it But you cannot hate this until you've taken one out for a ride Like so many things out there, you have your preconceptions about, about how things are and what they're going to be like <laughs> This is, this is just... Uh, <laughs> Performance wise, there's plenty of th things out there that are, you know, gonna outperform it But it's everything that comes with this package on this bike It's exactly what you think it's gonna be, it's a big cruiser But it'll handle, it does handle You can chuck this about, it's not a massive great big heavy thing once it's rolling it feels lovely It's the sort of relaxed mindset that this thing brings to you It's really got me, I feel like totally zen on this I really do. I'm just cruising along here thinking I literally do not have a care in the world. Love it. So Harley Street Glide, hell yes do I recommend you take one for a spin. And I promise to no longer talk about Harley riders in either Sniggers or Whispers. Because I get it people, I get it. And I can't wait to ride more of these. A huge thanks to Mike and all the folks there at Guildford Harley. They've approached me. I wasn't entirely sure to begin with, to be honest, because Harleys weren't my thing. But they are now. Mega. Just mega. Here we are. Home again, home again. Oh, Helga's going to be getting jealous, isn't she? Helga will be getting jealous. Right, let's go inside and have a look. day I've had. I'm blown away by that. I never ever thought I would have that sort of connection with a Harley, but uh, I genuinely thoroughly enjoyed that. But anyway, folks, look after yourselves. If you haven't smashed the subscribe button, please do. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Leave some comments down below. If you haven't joined Patreon and you feel that would be your thing, head over to patreon.com forward slash Patreon. And most importantly, get on out there and live your life. Till the next one.